Hey there, it's me, the early, late, late afternoon Critsy Bear. Hey, it is good, it's good time to be had, Dwarf Fortress, everybody. Hey, I love you. How's, how's it hanging? Last time we left off, I had promised that I would go into the stocks and uh, look for, <coughs> look for things to melt. And I have done so, I have done so. Yes, and now we're waiting for this dungeon to get dug, because we're preparing for war f with the humans. We're, we're melting down all their weapons. We got things to do. What are you doing there? Oh, I guess uh, the crippled miner is also our, our weaponsmith. Uh, whatever. That's cool. He's, he's a man of many talents. He's a renaissance man. Real real renaissance man. Is that a... Well, it's a tame... Uh, that's someone's pet alpaca. I can't slaughter it. Anyway... Yeah, we uh we've officially like waged waged uh, almost war on the humans and we're getting ready for that. We gotta forge uh start forging armor like real armor. Got gotta get some steel chainmail for under the uh, uh under the leather armor. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> and uh yeah, we also gotta start digging our dungeon. We don't have any dungeon monsters yet because we're still working on breeding those uh. Those crundles and durians, but <clears throat> yeah, we're also melting down their weapons, and yeah, I think that's pretty much everything. That's that's pretty much all that's going on right now. Smooth that out, please. Don't just leave that unsmoothed. Also, dump those things. Yes, I guess I can remove the meeting zone that's in the uh, crafting hall. We have plenty of other places now. Oh my God. Our stockpile. Oh, fuck. What are we gonna do with all of this? <coughs> Alright, well. I guess we're going to have to expand that shit. Oh, man. Or I could separate the furniture. Maybe? Let me look. How much of that is furniture? Got lots of chests, lots of beds. Uh, lots of doors. Uh, I guess I'll just expand the current stockpile. Ye, ye. I wish there was some way that you could uh, modify the dimensions of a pre uh, currently existing stockpile. Yeah, you know, just uh, without messing with all its connections and everything. Yeah, I mean it's probably not going to be too complicated. Up and up. I'm in a good mood today. I'm feeling better, actually. Um, <clears throat> for those of you following the status of my sickliness, uh, yeah, it's pretty much over with now. Oh, and there, I think that's going to be all the cave caving we're going to do. Yeah, make, make it very cave-like. Yeah, sure. There, that works. Um... Cave. It's a cave. Yeah, sure is a cave. There. Good enough. Just a little, 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 uh, little notch there. There. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Whatever. Yeah. It's a little tunnel. Oh, hey! Somebody has made a masterpiece seed roast. <clears throat> <clears throat> I guess it's got something in there that isn't just seeds. Uh, if I was faster, I could have taken a look at it. Wait. Actually, I think it might be in that barrel right there. Uh, nope. Whatever. Doesn't matter. Yeah, so pretty much all we got to do now is wait. Wait for uh, something interesting. Got lots of instruments now. Uh, I don't know if the tavern is going to actually take them or not. Uh, are people hanging out down here in uh, the palace? No, of course not. I should set up a burrow that will forbid the Baroness from going anywhere except there. However, we're not getting any any prepared food in here. Yeah, it does take prepared food. Um, It is taking from that stockpile yes should it also take from this stockpile i don't know <clears throat> we'll see it's too bad you can't like set a quality limit on the food so that i could give her only the finest quality 
roasts. Oh, fuck. Something died, I think. Sink cage, uh... No, either something died or I didn't put the right thing there. I guess I'll just leave the empty cage. No, no, I'm gonna make it in the troglodyte cage. Make this the room, and assign it to... No, 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 no. Uh, deconstruct that one, and the owner of this cage is the Baroness, yes. That reminds me of a Queen song, the one where they say Baroness once in the entire song. So what was in that cage? It doesn't say it's got any corpses in it. I guess I can catch... Uh, Look at the corpse stockpile. Um, yeah, just rats and goblins and stuff. Wait, that is a goblin, right? That's a goblin bard. Hmm. Oh, we also got all these uh, animals from the humans. I guess. Uh, I guess we could build one of those. Uh, let me look at what animals they got here. Uh, guinea cock, uh, peacocks, uh, male blue peacock. All right, yeah, we could put that in. That's a zoo thing. Uh, horses, water buffaloes, alpacas, uh, rabbits, hens, um, ganders and stuff. All right, uh, we can put the female birds over yonder uh, in this stockpile with all the pigs. Or not stockpile, but pasture. Um, <clears throat> all right, female bird. Um, hen. And yeah, I think that's it. Yep. Okay. And uh, all those other things can be butchered, other than that one thing that I wanted to put in the place. Yeah. Uh, buffalo, rabbit, guinea cock, cavey boar. Get, nope, not that one. That's a female bird. Uh, goat. Uh, slaughter the cat. Yes. Horse. Yak. Female bird. Uh, um bird peacock no i want that in the zoo a goose and a bull and a mule and a, another bird yeah i think that's it yeah i think that's it okay also put that female crundle in a uh, in here where's the female crundle There we go. There she is, and I think that's... Yeah, that's the only one I want in there. Okay. Once all of that is done, we can put the peacock into the Baroness's zoo. Menagerie, rather, I would think. Uh, also, I didn't mention, but I also... Uh, I don't have very long to record today. But it is much earlier. Oh, fuck! Another... Goddamn mega beasts! Oh shoot! Uh, the forgotten beast Nagnon rush na Nagnod. Nagnod rush Nagnod. Okay. The forgotten beast Nagnod rush Nagnod has come. A great one-eyed scorpion. It has a long swinging trunk and it squirms and fidgets. Beware its poisonous sting. Do you think it means trunk as in like its torso or like a literal trunk on its face? Either way, I imagine it looks like a centipede, <laughs> uh, where it's poisonous sting. Fuck. Uh, too bad we don't have any archers. Where? Where is it? Where is that creature? Nagnod. All right. Uh, I guess. Uh, mil military. No squads. Yes. Okay. I guess we can uh, go and uh, tell our military to go f fuck that shit up. See whoever shows up. Uh, follow her, see what she does. I don't know why I'm assigning it a female gender. Does it even have a gender? No, it's an it. I guess it's an arachnid, so for some reason arachnids are generally assigned feminine names. I guess maybe because the males don't live very long. Uh, generally, male arachnids live solely to, to find someone to have sex with and then and then just let whatever happen to them. Most of them don't expect to ever find another mate in their lifetime and thus surrender themselves to the female 
to be used as additional sustenance for for raising his children. <clears throat> it's a sorry life being a male spider. Likelihood is that you won't even find a mate, which is your entire life purpose. <laughs> <coughs> I still got a little bit of a cough, but I'm generally feeling a lot better. Yeah, this guy's not gonna come out of the water, is he? Where's uh, where's our military? I'm just gonna tell them to go stand down in the uh, caves, I guess, and wait for him to come to them. Um, where? Oh, dude, he's in the one where all my citizens go too. So uh, just move here. All right? Yeah. Everybody, roll out! Dwarf soldiers? Oh no. Oh no, fuck. Alright, that gem cutter's probably gonna get... get his ass handed to him. No? Okay. Anyway, dwarf soldiers... beards... and... cave adapt. Did I... As it's supposed to be bit. Oh no, he's getting stalked. Oh no, here comes the creature. Here comes the creature from the underground lake. Oh man, it's a very slow per- Yes, 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 okay. You guys, kill him. Kill it. Kill that creature. There's the military coming in. All right. Oh fuck, they're coming in a straight line, so somebody's gonna die. Oh, get him, get him. Oh fuck, he got stung, I think. Uh, wounds. No, no, okay, he's just stunned. Get him, get him, get get in there. Oh, fuck, before anyone gets stung. <gasps> they just revert back to administrators. All right, uh, do you get, uh, did you get stung? Let me check, his lungs are fucked up. Uh, Aloth, uh, um, Aloth, where is Aloth? Um, or I can just find Forgot Beast Nagnond. All right. <clears throat> Um, oh, god damn it, it's not gonna, <sighs> I gotta find the guy specifically, um, who got, who got hit, is it Moldas? No, it's Alas, Alef, I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce that accent, right, uh, reports, uh, Alas, where is... Sparring, 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 fighting, penguins, crundles. Ah, oh, god damn it. Of course it wouldn't be up there with the There's a loth, okay. Um, alright. <coughs> Charges, that's where he got stunned. Um kicks, he got Yeah, you know, just the normal spider kick. That's how he got his uh arm bruised, and what about his lungs? Uh blocks with the shield. Um I'm not seeing, not seeing where he got uh, fucked in his lungs. Maybe he did get poisoned. Oh, my eyes hurt looking at this. All these colors. Yeah, it's just he got kicked in the arm, but it's not showing me where his lungs got messed up. Yeah, just miss, 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 and dead. Whatever. <clears throat> Whatever you guys say. I guess we only needed three guys for that. I mean, honestly, we just needed the Axe Dwarf. These guys are fucking badasses. Killing goddamn Mega Beasts left and right. Let's give them a statue. Uh, New Order Rock statue. Because he killed a Mega Beast 1. Well, he didn't kill it alone. Ah, oh, whatever. <coughs> he was the first one to engage in it. Uh, marble? Yeah, we have one more. <coughs> marble! <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, sorry. Um details. I still got some more in my lungs. Uh historical figure Oh fuck, I'm not gonna be able to find his name because it's got the weird Oh yes I can. Oh god damn it. Oh, I'm gonna have to figure out his last name too. Alas uh fucking heck. Alright. Uh, this should be in the administrators. Because they have really high social skills and nothing else. Alright, uh, Astebar. 
what's your real name? Telurthen. Okay. Yeah, that's a very dwarf name. All right, manager, details, uh, hasn't been confirmed yet. So, uh, image of the historical figure, uh, Alath Telurthen. Yep, there we go. There. Yeah, should be good. We'll see, uh, we'll see what, what he has made. <coughs> I like having the stone that the masons don't use for as default. That I can make into cool statues and stuff. I don't know why they'd make it. Let's just hop to the surface. I was told how to make uh, the hot, 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 hot keys and everything, but yeah, why isn't anyone going down there to deal with this dig? I don't know. Hmm. You're ruining my dungeon, guys. God damn it. Oh, shoot. Someone gave birth to a girl. Okay. Oh, well, thanks for interrupting everything. N n nice job, though. You've given us yet another mouth to feed. Hooray. All right, I guess I'll, I'll just have to start it over here and just head to the stairs from there since we can't make the stairs from the bottom. <laughs> I guess uh, cancel that one. And Yep, there should be the limit, right? Will you dig that now, or do we not have any miners? Oh, we do have miners. <coughs> I don't know. We need another one, either way. Uh, these are all the fucking military guys. Who's this guy? You're a traitor, right? Yeah. And he's a legendary trader, not a military man. Now let me s see if I manage to uh, make the schedule right for the second squad. Tangled books, that's the guard. Uh, Lost archers is the next one. Lost archers, you should have the same one as the other guys. Uh, uh, copy the orders from there. Paste the orders from there. Yep, and uh, well, actually, I I shouldn't give them the same break months. So uh, I'll stagger the months so that yeah, they're uh, how many? Two months away from the other ones. Two months before. There. That should be good. No, wait. There. That should be good. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, however, I did forget to uh, make them not tan on the same months, too. <laughs> Alright, uh, copy that one, paste that one there, and now I'll copy right there, paste that one there, there, there! Now uh, the Lost Archers will be doing that. Maybe I should get actual archers? Maybe. Squad of Archers. Thing is, though, if I make them a squad and I permit them to train in the barracks, then they're going to pick up tons of melee skills, which will, while it would conceivably, or theoretically, make them tr more survivable, it would also uh, make them feel entitled to rushing up to things and hitting them with their crossbows, so... Mm -hmm. I guess I'll, I'll make... A, Archer one, since it is a perfect name. Alright, uh... Fucking new uniform, there we go. Name... Uh, Watchman! Yeah! Watchin'! Okay. <coughs> um, weapons. Well, weapons, you would uh, get individual choice ranged. Maybe, no, crossbows. We need everyone to use crossbows, yeah? Alright. <laughs> Maybe wooden crossbows would be best, but eh, whatever, because they would be lighter. We'll just let them use whatever they want. And uh, supply, uh, no supplies. Uh, lost archers, ammo. Where's uh, where's ammunition is on a different tab, All right? Hunters, you can use. Uh, all these bolts are forbidden for some reason. Hunters, material, bone bolts only. Yeah. And you guys, add item, bolts, 
you can use metal bolts for everything else and oh shoot can we can we let them use different bolts for combat or would they fuck up uh and how many should i assign i've never done ranged guys before would it like distribute this evenly amongst them so that if i had 200 each one would get 20 bolts or i guess i put it on 160 so that it could be evenly distributed and uh don't use those in training use those only in combat and uh bone bolts material out of bone you can use bone bolts in training <coughs> yeah we also need a training hall. Uh, we'll put this somewhere near the barracks. Maybe uh, down here. We can remove those two weapon racks and uh, make a new barracks. Or, well, not barracks, but a new training hall. Ye. Yeah. There. And it'll be a little archery range. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I think I think that's gonna work. Okay. Should we make a danger room and start training super soldiers with all these fucking children? I think that one what might be fun. Might be an entertaining thing to do. Though I'm not sure how to get them to spend their time in there without starving them. <coughs> Maybe drop food down a pit but I don't know that sounds like very hard to do logistics um, I guess I can make a secondary food stockpile maybe and uh and and just put locked doors between here and there. Hmm. I guess. Down here, deep in the caverns. Oh fuck! The Drunians are bullying my crundles. God damn it! Race war or something? No, oh, no, that's bad joke. Bad joke. I'm sorry. I'm fuck. Fuck. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Down here. Uh, in the dungeon. Right there. Little food stockpile. Yee. Yeah. Like that size. And, uh, then, right there. <coughs> like a room that big? Would that fit ten children? No. Um, we need it to be slightly larger. Yeah. Does that look like it work? that look like it work um yeah we'll just uh put put some children in there and uh have them pray to the god of god of battle yeah and the food will be in this room they can come get it whenever they need it however the only meeting zone that they will have access to is that one <coughs> yeah also we need something to drop puppies down to uh desensitize them to the idea of death yeah. The uh, pit will start uh up here where nobody will question it. Yeah. We'll start right there and get burrowed down into there. Yeah. And that will need a little uh connective tunnel. Uh-huh. There we go. Off into this place. Right there. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, that'll work. That'll work nice. The children, they'll love it. They'll love it. Don't worry about it. Please tell me, like, this Crundle isn't lethally wounded. Nah. Nah, he's still... She, she's still in, in birthing quality. She'll be fine. Fucking Drunians. 
Never trust a Drunian. I promise I'm not racist in real life. I'm just making fun, okay? I promise. What are you what are you melting? Oh you're melting silver bolts, okay. Yeah, yeah, I also melted some of the useless ammo too, like silver. Oh also uh move these Why Why are you not picking up any mining jobs, miners? Oh you are, you're just oh, you're you're down there, okay. I'm just dumb. Also need to furnish more rooms to get rid of some of this god dang clutter down there. We have how many? Uh, 4, 8, 16, uh, 16 times 2 was uh, 32. We have 32 rooms? I think so. <coughs> okay. So 32 rooms, 100 dwarves. Yeah, it's, it's not unreasonable for me to develop this into a proper housing situation. However, I'm going to need a bigger uh, corner room here. Doop, doop, doop. Would two tiles bigger be good? And then from there... Um, yeah, that'd be good. That'd be golden. Yeah, it's perfect size, actually. Uh huh. Yeah. We'll just leave it like that for now. Just so that we remember the design. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. There. And we don't need it to go very far. I mean, I'm gonna, like, make a couple more streets like these ones over there. E. Or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't. Yeah, I think I'm going to save that for like a temple or something. Something over there. Another bar, maybe? Who knows? And then the uh, rooms will go off this way. Boop. No, wrong side. Okay. Boop. And boop. And there. So go over there. Hooray! Also, don't forget to put them on the bottom here, too. I'm reminding myself. I'm not telling you not to forget. <sighs> Poor crippled miner. Still working. Oh, I forgot to set that military, uh, the uniforms for this one. Uniforms. Watching. <laughs> uh, equipment, right. Uh, lost archers. Uniform. Uniform. Nope. Press the wrong button again. Ah, uh, positions, lost archers, equip them with... Great, capital U? Yeah, capital U, okay. Okay, yeah, good, good golden, gold, gold, good, gold. Great, guards, yes, and these guys, yeah. <clears throat> I wonder if I have enough steel to start making chain mail. I don't know. I think once they're decked out in steel, there's pretty much nothing the humans can do about it. Manage, uh, steel. How much would it take to make those? I don't know. I wish the humans would have brought some, uh, iron for me. Chainmail. Chain. Fuck. Uh, Chainmail. Oh, I can't make chainmail, can I? What can I make? Um. Armor. Steel. Oh, no, it's just mail. Okay. Just mail. Uh, man. No, manage. Steel mail. Uh, ten steel mail shirts. We'll see how that goes. We'll see where where that heads. <clears throat> Are we still making charcoal? Guess not. Cause it only makes it if we. Let me check if it if we're like out of wood or if we're just have enough 
fuel uh, conditions. Yeah, yeah, we just have enough fuel. We don't need any more right now. What are you doing here? Oh, he's he's just praying to the metal god. I'm not going to try to sing a metal song. I don't have a good enough voice. That stockpile is almost done. And we are out of barrels, aren't we? Oh, fuck, yeah, we are. All right. Barrel, wooden barrel, 20 rock pots, 20 of those. There we go. Can we milk our pigs yet? Let's see. Milk and milk. I guess we can start making some more clothes, too. It's almost time for that. Um... Shoes, uh, cloth, ten cloth shoes, ten, oh no, we don't, no, 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 we're going to make more cloth shoes because we actually produce cloth, um, remove cloth shoes, uh, like 20, 25, uh, 30, 30 cloth shoes, um, tunics, no, I can't make uh, cloth, just cloth, see what we can make. Could have sworn we could make tunics. Uh, robes, maybe? Maybe robes? Yeah, sure, we, we, we wear robes around here. Um, where are said robes? Well, I guess you can't make robes. You can make cloth earrings, but not robes. I don't know how you wear a cloth earring. I guess cloaks work. Uh, to to f uh, 15 cloaks. Um, it's a shirt. Shit, no shirt. Um, I guess uh, yarn, 15 yarn shirts. Yeah, that'll be 30. 30 tops and silk trousers. Uh, 15 silk trousers and cloth pants of some kind. Is that the only style of pants dwarves know how to make? Yep, yeah, I guess trousers. Fifteen trousers. <coughs> um, shirt. Uh, no. Vest. Fifteen cloth vests, too. Okay, and then... Um, I guess I could make leather shoes. Yeah, fifteen leather shoes. Not just twenty leather shoes, yeah. 20 leather shoes, and more armor, 10 leather armor, shoes, 20 leather shoes, fuck, alright, also don't forget I can make clothing out of leather too, um, what else, um, I guess that's it, unless I want to make my dwarves hats, yeah, they got pants, they got shirts, uh, can I make conditions for these that they'll be to produce, uh, no, wrong, wrong one, no, deep, no, 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 wrong, fucking, get rid of that, uh, no, don't re, don't restart, don't, one time order, there, uh, conditions for these, the shoes, uh, products, number of shoes, can I change the quality of the shoes? Traits, shoes. Oh, all these possible uh, quality. No. <sighs> Fuck. Well, I guess not. Okay. I could make the barrel ones restart, because I just realized that uh, you can specify empty things. So, but I'm not going to, because uh, it's too much work right now. <clears throat> oh, hey, it's that season where people start spamming about not having enough pigtails again. Maybe we should make another pigtail plot, so that we can, like, master the pigtail trait. 
Oh, we do have some more plots. Um, you also grow pintails. Uh, that only grows in spring and autumn, right? I mean, in summer and autumn, right? Uh, yeah. Winter, nope. And you grow cave wheat in the summer and autumn, and then winter you grow plump helmets, and I guess they'll give you a break in the spring. <coughs> Just because we don't have humans that we can rely upon anymore. I think that's about it that we need to get done right now. Hey, they're working on our, uh, our thingy. Our other room, the uh, archery, archery range. E, it's not long enough. You need it, you need it to be long cat. Long, long archery range. There. Uh, do we need anything for archery targets? No, no, you just need uh, thingies. Just need logs. There we go. Could make engravings on the back wall. Like goblins and stuff. <coughs> or humans. Humans would make more sense. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Just in case they miss. I'm gonna make an innocent dwarves just just to actually simulate if they miss they hit an innocent man. Because <laughs> they do mostly fight in an urban setting here. Also, clear this out. Yeah. Doors. We can put some doors there so that we don't need to look at... So that the rooms can be separate. We're also going to put some doors up here. I'm going to save two. Just so that uh, we have some extras in case we need to emergency door something off. And here, there. That's all the doors I'm going to use right now. Once those are done, I guess I can start giving people rooms. I can't remember how to make it so that a person can just claim a room. I don't know. The library is pretty popular. I don't know how many books we have. Let me check. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh huh. So far, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I guess you can only fit six on there, maybe. Nope, apparently not. Uh, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Uh, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yeah, we got a pretty nice library going here. Things are slowly filling up. <coughs> Didn't need nearly as many bookshelves as I got, but... Uh. <sighs> After I finish the uh, archery barracks, maybe... And the dungeon. Archery barracks and the dungeon. Uh, I should make... What, what should I call it? What am I thinking of here? Thingy. I should make a hospital. That's what I'm thinking of. Masterpiece barrels. We got a really good carpenter now. He's going to make us some real nice spikes in the future. Oh shoot, that reminds me. I gotta put our spikes down there. We have trap. Just upright spikes. Uh -huh. Oh boy. Got lots of spears. Just these ones. One, two, three, four, five. The proper spikes and done. And another one right here. One, two, three, four. Where's where's the last menacing spike? Oh I guess. I guess I'll, I'll I'll use one of the proper wooden spears. It'll just be weird. Okay. Oh, and the last one here is the peacock, so uh, we can get rid of these cages. Or not get rid of, but forbid these cages and build a... K. 
cage. Why? No, 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 no. Where's the cage at? Cage! There we go. Oh, fuck. I forbid even the one that I wanted to put in there, idiot. Uh, do you see... Reclaim. That one. No. Forbid that one. That one zinc cage I need. Okay. And down here in the menagerie... Oh man, I can't remember the song from Dwarf Fortress now. I'm I'm not Dwarf Fortress. It's Adventure Time now. I'm gonna put that one in the description. That's uh, evolution is a natural process, but it isn't always the fastest. Oh hey, more dog pus. No, that's chicken pus. What the fuck, chickens? Why? Why is there so much pus here? Just pus. Dog pus. Chicken pus. Why? Uh, gross. Do we have uh, people building our thingies? Yeah, people are building our thingies. It's going to take a while because they have to haul each spike individually. <coughs> I forget how you build repeating circuits in War Fortress. I guess maybe uh, just have a lever with pulling on repeat. I wish I had vampires. Just just set up a tradition of of uh, dwarves while you're going down the hallway. Pull the good luck lever. You know, just the good luck lever. Pull it. It's a tradition. You know, pull it. Uh, hey, I, I hope I get the lottery today. But little do they know that each time they pull that lever, they are sending a volley of spikes up at children's feet. <laughs> yeah. Hey, they're done milking creatures now. Hey, and they made cheese. Oh, that reminds me. I gotta make sure that these guys aren't cooking drinks. Uh, cooked uh, leeks and yams and... Oh, uh, boy, we have way too many plants. Bill, there is. Uh, all right, well, uh, longland grass seeds, those things don't cook wheat seeds anymore. Uh, fisherberry seeds, yes, cook those. Uh, quinoa seeds, spinach, rye, soybeans, sweet pods. I guess not the sweet pods. Yeah, no plump helmet spawns either anymore. All right, and don't cook these drinks. And look at all this meat that we stole. Heck yeah. Meat and flour and cheese and sugar and fish. Yeah, it's great. We're going to have a feast of stolen human meat. Yeah. <clears throat> Shoot, I forgot to uh, make sure that we gather things from the surface. Yes, yes, it is time. It is time, my herbalist army, to harvest. It's almost harvesting season. That's Mountain Blade. Hey, look, they're tanning. <laughs> they're having, having a real bad time. Everyone's going to think that they went off to war. And... What actually happened is they went into a chamber to get a tan and vomited a whole lot. It's it's their detox. Wait, why am I paused? No, oh, I just forgot to unpause it. Look at all this business going on down in our bazaar. Let's build a couple more workshops. Yeah, another mechanics workshop. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Another mechanics workshop. Another clothier? We have no clothier shops. Dude! We need to fix that problem. Boyer. Uh, nah. Uh, another carpenter. Of course. Another jeweler. Another jeweler. 
I'm reaching the point where I said that I would uh move into a bigger place because this is getting real cramped. We need another masonry workshop. We already have two. Look, uh, nah, uh, another craft dwarf, maybe. Let's put another one down by the wood here. Look at all the workshops. It's becoming a regular flea market. Uh, fishery, ash. We have no fishery. Oh, our poor fishermen have been like fishing for ages. Oh no, let's just put them in this cave here. This will be the fish cave. Okay, and you guys can just do all your fish stuff over here. <laughs> oh, these poor, poor dwarves. All right, anything else that I need? Oh, boy. Yeah, I think that might be it. I mean, we might need a siege workshop eventually, but I could make one. Uh, I don't want to put a dwarf in the fray right now. We don't have a proper military to protect them. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's it. I think, uh, anything else I want to get another one of? Nah. Nah, we good. We real good. So we didn't have a clothing workshop or fish. Okay, so... F food... You will be for raw fish. And just, you can put them all in a pile. There, uh, no barrels, no barrels. Yes. Okay. Food. Um, I'm having, having trouble remembering how to, there we go. Food. There we go. Yes. Just block only unprepared fish. And also don't forget to take from the big food stockpile just to give them a break. <coughs> there, even though I haven't heard of any of our friends getting any actual freaking fish. Oh, I guess they have. There you go. Knowing my dwarves, they also filled the barrels with tons of actual good food. Oh, no, just droves of raw fish. Oh, boy. We've been having those clutter up our stockpile for ages. Good to get things off our chest, huh? I can't tell what's been built and what hasn't. Also, uh, reclaim all this stuff. See? What, uh, what proper metals do we have? Oh, we have silver, we have... Oh, we have more lignite! Yes! We need to, uh, make sure that we do that immediately. Uh-huh. And what else? We have stuff for bronze, nickel, silver, pewter, uh, billion, bronze and stuff. Sorry, I got a Discord message, and that has made me realize that we, uh, we're out of time here. So, uh, yeah, this hasn't been an uneventful episode, and nothing in particular changed or anything, just, you know, some more stuff. Oh, also, uh, time to, time to do this stockpile, all right. Um, give to furniture, stockpile, finished good. Yeah, it's just a bunch of ones that we give to. All right. Unfortunately, it is time for you to be deleted, my stockpile friend. We've had a good friend, we've had a good run, but you have simply outlived your usefulness. I'm sure you'll understand in due time. Uh, okay, goods. Alright. Oh, fuck, I forgot to dump out all these stones, too. God dang it. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's gonna be a pain and a half. Alright, it starts up there and over there. Oh, fuck, it's too big. Okay. Okay, this is... This is a headache. 
it's a headache, but uh, we, we will persevere. Persevere? Per a little, uh, a little closer that way. I want it to start right here, I suppose. Oh, too much wasted space now. All right, how about right here? Yeah. There, yeah, that sure that works. Uh huh. And uh, just make it a little wonky on the sides here, so that uh, yeah, it won't look like it just has a harsh cut off there. There, and do not forget to assign all these things to dump before I save the game. Yeah, dump, and dump, dump those two, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Oh, shoot, I forgot to uh, make it so that it doesn't accept artifacts, too. All right. Lots of things to do. Always things to do. Okay, and settings. You do not accept things of a core quality of artifact or greater, even though there is no greater. I'm a doofus. Um, gems. No rough gems, just cut gems. Uh, and glass. You can take rough glass. Um, bars? No. Coins, I guess. Ammo, in case the other ones run out of space. No artifact ammo, though. Oh. Not disable all of them. No artifact ammo. Even though I've never seen artifact ammo in my life. Uh, furniture. No artifacts. Um, sheets. Armor. No artifacts. We weapons. No artifacts. Uh, cloth. Leather. Yeah, I think that's it. All right, uh, give to everything, pretty much. All right, give to that one, give to that one, give to fucking, is that another empty barrel? No, no don't give to that one. Okay, give to the this one. Okay. Oh, I should also make it so that it stores empty cages just in case. Um, what else am I missing? All right, don't forget the vault. Give to the vault. I mean, I don't really need to set it to do that because it shouldn't accept artifacts anymore. J just in case it, for some reason, accepts an artifact. Uh, what else did it give to? Right, it also gave to this clothing and to the ones in here, the uh, weapons stockpiles. There. And I believe that's the last one. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And for some reason, the Baroness's chamber is still not accepting prepared food. What if I just, uh... Oh, it doesn't accept barrels either, so that's probably why. Okay. Now it'll probably accept prepared food. There. Please tell me they don't have to, like, reorganize all of the thingy no oh i guess i do god damn it all right <sighs> not the entire thing they just need to take things out of the dang empty spaces all right uh also you accept animals now as well but not any animals just empty cages and traps yeah. Still working on getting things out of that trade depot. Lots of instruments, I think. No, just sheets and stuff. Okay. And now to top off the episode, because I gotta go now. Let's see a book. Graphite book. A uh, written portion consists of a 74-page guide entitled Exploring the Fortress, authored by Siga Brandkurl, that concerns the fortress of Dreadful Limp. Uh, the writing der der derives forward relentlessly. Oh, drives forward relentlessly. Overall, the prose is not awful, but not very good either. It's just a, it's just a, a big travel guide. You know, like one that you would buy when you're going to Paris or something. Or L.A., I guess, if, you, if you're not from America or something. Or I guess... 
I guess America's um, Americans could also get a travel guide to LA or something. I mean, I probably would if I wanted to visit LA and I was the kind of guy to plan ahead. <laughs> Alright, I think, uh, yeah, I think we're done now. We, uh, killed another forgotten beast. We started outfitting our military. Uh, speaking of which, uh, how is that going? Have you made any mail shirts? Um, let me check. Um, well, almost none of the clothing has been worked on. And how's the shirt, mail shirt? Now there has the mail. Alright, so we need more people on that duty. Um, any craftsmen who don't necessarily have jobs always engravers? Yeah, sure, you are now in it. Oh, wait, you are already a metalsmith. Right, well, now in addition to those things, you are a armor crafter. Um, you stone crafter, you also now craft armor and weapons. Congratulations, you have more work to do. A glassmaker, definitely. Definitely uh, blacksmithing and everything, yeah. Alright, um, now we need, uh, we need people to make clothing. Yeah. Um, dwarven baby, no, I want your mom. Butcher. Uh, yeah, literally all he does is butcher. Alright, you you are now a crafts dwarf. Congratulations! Uh, you craft wood and clothing. Yeah, all right. Cook, uh, you make clothing now too because we have more than one cook. Farmer, you make clothing. Congratulations, and you weave, just in case we need more. Glassmaker, yeah, you craft wood and leather. Yeah, sure. Yeah, more guys. Also, bind books. Yeah, all right. Save it. Done. Done. Putting a cap on it. Right now. How long? How long is the episode? Um, 70... 75 minutes. No, 57 minutes. Yay! What was the song that I wanted to put in it? Fuck! Oh, no. I'm gonna have to go rewatch the video to figure out. I should have made note of it. I always forget. I need to make note of the thing in addition to when I need to edit out parts. Oh, God damn it. Whatever. Done saving. Bye. Take care. I love you all. Bye. Hopefully I'm up earlier tomorrow.